Hi everybody, my name is Kamil Wolny and this is a quick look at scalar type hinting and return types decorations in the upcoming PHP 7, which is going to be next major release of PHP coming out this year. Scalar types are basically single value types and scalar types hinting RFC adds four type declarations to, RFC, uh, to PHP to represent those values, int, float, bool and string. Those, value, those words are not keywords. Those words are just restricted from usage as classes, interfaces, or traits names. So the backwards compatibility is maximized. We can use them as parameters type declarations or return type declarations. By default, PHP scripts are in the weak type checking mode, which means that PHP be behaves exactly the same as in a 5x version. So when the conversion is possible, it is silently performed. The only difference comparing to PHP 5 is that for parameters with declared scalar types, null isn't anymore accepted by default, unless it is a parameter with explicitly given value of null. To enable strict type checking mode, we need to put declare strict types statement as the first statement in the given file. It must be there because it is entirely compile time and it works by setting a flag in the opcode. If it is in place, strict type checking mode is applied to all function calls, including PHP extensions and building functions within that single file, not any files which are included by the file, nor any file which includes the file. Strict type checking basically means that if any scalar type differs from expected, engine exception is being raised. Engine exceptions are the other cool thing coming with PHP 7, but they were separate quick look at, so we're not going to talk about them today. The only possible conversion in strict type mode, strict type checking mode is a conversion from integers to floats. This type of conversion is called widening primitive conversion as it doesn't lose any information about overall magnitude of the numeric value. It means that you can use integers when floats are expected. Thanks to that, strict types isn't, uh, is a feature that isn't enabled by default in PHP. It doesn't break any of the existing code. The developer is the only person who can make the decision of start supporting and taking advantage of uh, scalar types. Therefore, excellent dynamic nature of PHP stays safe and sound. So we might be wondering, why the hell do we need strict type checking in PHP? Because more or less 20 years ago, when PHP first came out, it was just a view language made with a thought of, uh, that people would use it as C API for the web, the untyped environment where everything is a string. So at the time, there was just no purpose of having hint type hinting in the language. But times have changed. PHP has evolved, and nowadays a lot of us use it to write complex applications, frameworks, and libraries using best practices and thinking about the beauty and maintenance of our code. Now, we are guaranteed that from the function point of view, all data types are correct, and we don't need to perform all those type checks and normalize those values, no matter if the function is called from the weak or strict mode. We can say, that weak mode is for the consumer of the library, while strict mode is for its author, who usually wants to work in as deterministic environment as this is only possible. Plus, our code can be much more cleaner and self-explainable as just a one quick look at the definition of a function says everything about its arguments, scalar or not. Anyway, if you don't want to use scalars, just forget about them. Scalars won't hurt your WordPress. But for those who want to use them, you need to keep in mind that there are some unpredictable fatal errors possible if a library written in a strict mode is expecting a callback from the user. Author of a library cannot prevent consumer from passing a function which expects parameters of a different type than those passed to the function inside of the library. Therefore, some unpredictable but catchable fatal errors might occur. So we need to look out for that, 
but the feature is 100% hat, and I believe that we as the developers, we can protect it ourselves and find some better solutions to avoid those cases. As I mentioned before, in PHP 7, we can declare return types for methods, closures, and functions. Declaration is 100% optional and will not break any of the existing code it will as it will continue to work exactly as it does today. The uh, return type declaration is required only if a method inherits from the other method that already declares one. In PHP, return types are invariant, which means that if a method which declares a return type is overwritten by any other method, chi child method must declare exactly the same type of return value as its parent does. And the declaration cannot be omitted. However, if a parent method doesn't declare any return type, child method is free to declare one. Also, there is no possibility of declaring more than one return type. So in case when we want to use multiple return types, we should just skip the declaration. It is worth mentioning that strict type checking return of uh, return values is applied or not, depending from the presence of the class strict type in the file which contains the definition of the function, not in the file from where the function is called, as it is for function parameters. If return type mismatch in strict mode is detected at compile time, compile error is being issued. And if it is detected at the runtime, a uh, catchable fatal error is issued. If the mismatch is detected in the weak mode, possible uh, conversion might occur on the same, uh, in the same manner as for the function parameters. The syntax is pretty straight and it has a big advantage of not breaking common search pattern for the definition of the function, which is a function keyword and followed by its name. I believe that this is a great advantage for a lot of us who would like to use uh, return types declarations, but don't want to change our work habits. The passing RFC also doesn't affect position of an ampersand in the, if returning by reference. Important thing is that when a return type is declared, function cannot return values of any other type, including null. Thanks to that restriction, developer can take a full real advantage of the declaration as he doesn't need to check value returned by the function before using it. Makes sense, right? So thanks to return type declarations RFC, we gain a super cool feature that lets us write even better, more self-explainable and safer code, which does not need to be tested in the context of return types. And we gain all of that without any inconsistency with previous PHP versions. That's all, folks. Thanks for listening. Hallelujah. Wow.